Celebrating the change in weather. I know, I know this you is, are. looks like it's going to be The different. last couple of weeks were pretty brutal. Yeah. And I want to take you over the span of this past month. And obviously, there's only a few days left of the month of September. But even though we did have some cool days, we definitely had our fair share of very, very warm and well above average days as well. And it kind of splits across the, uh, the span of the month this previous month. So when we go out to our calendar, what you're going to notice here when we you know, put the graphic into motion is that the bulk of the last two weeks have definitely been not just above average, but substantially. So look at this. It's been at least nine or 10 plus degrees above average really for the last week. And before that, it was already above average as well. Five, seven, eight, nine degrees or so. Now, first two weeks, yeah, we were a little bit cooler, but we really made up for it. So currently we're still at 2.5 degrees above average for the month as a whole. Still three days to add up here and average out. But I have a feeling based on the way the pattern's going, it's probably going to end up being roughly one degree or so above average for the month as a whole. So we really kind of split the difference. Now, there's a lot of other things to talk about here on storm scan three. We're still tracking Maria. You can see that it really has been making a departure out to sea. It's still keeping the surf pretty choppy, however. Uh, so again, best advice is to stay on dry land, even though it really is all in all a pretty decent beach day. When we look off to the south, however, potential at least for more tropical trouble. No guarantee yet, but over the next five days, this batch of showers and thunderstorms, which is lifting into the sunshine state, that could show some signs of development. It's got about a four in 10 shot to do that in the span of the next five days. Next name on the list, if that were to happen, would be Nate. But again, still some time for this to evolve. We'll see how we do. But it looks like some pretty soaking rain is still in the cards for Florida. Meanwhile, look at the dew point. If you were with us earlier this morning, I showed this graphic then, and our dew point was still in the upper 60s. So talk about a drop off just in the last couple of hours. Current dew point is 50. And it, it just doesn't get better than this. Now, granted, it's still quite breezy outside. Dare I say blustery? We've got wind gusts that are still, you know, into the 20s, and a couple of spots have already picked up a 30 mile per hour wind gust. And because of that very low relative humidity, that has enhanced our fire risk. So basically, all that means is this. Be smart about your cigarette butts. Put them in the right receptacles. If you're going to grill out today, man that grill. Don't walk away from it. You've got to be really careful about burning brush. I, in fact, I wouldn't do it at all today since that uh, fire risk, again, is quite high. Now, here's a look at the current wind gusts, and yeah, they're up there. You'll notice it. It's going to blow your hair out of whack, Jim, if you walk out the door into this. So just be Nothing careful. Nothing will move this hair. He's got, like, Teflon coating on that <laughs> hair. <laughs> Keep it just as perfect as it always looks. But... <laughs> But regardless, you're really going to notice that wind out there, and it's basically coming out of the north northwest. Looking at the temperatures, though, these values also haven't really changed all that much. Again, the wind is certainly noticeable. It's not making it feel cooler necessarily. Rather, we're just kind of level throughout the rest of the afternoon. 75, the current value at the airport. Our early morning low, which took place right before the sun came up, was 72. So there hasn't been that much movement on the thermometer. Now, the kids had been out for recess. They've gone back inside. Side, but this has been a shit. There it goes right on cue. A shaky camera in the last couple of minutes because of the wind. And yep, there they go. The leaves definitely shaking on the trees as well outside Pleasant Valley Middle and High School here. Despite a nice clear sky and despite that return to fall, that's the big X factor today. It certainly is going to be a noticeable breeze that tapers off tonight. However, and look at the drop off early morning low tomorrow into the mid 50s. That's the theme right through the weekend. Just Friday night into Saturday. Watch for a shower or two with some reinforcing cool air coming along. Otherwise, it's basically wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. Mm. Looks like a beautiful forecast. Mm -hmm. All right, Katie, thank you. Thank KNN. you.